So just to make a bit more space, we're gonna take off this cover and just pull straight down. I do have this USB plug on this one. So you just lift the tabs on both sides and it just pulls out. Same here, there's one clip. I'll just pull this off. Same gig, there's a couple of clips there. And then one clip here. Actually pull it off. And this little air vent comes down. Just has two two little clips. And then that can, that can be moved out of the way. Just gives you a little bit more space here to walk around. So originally the clutch pedal was sitting down like this. So you could pull it back up with your foot or your hand and then once you pressed it, it would sit low. Indicate kind of like the clutch was gone or going or the slave cylinder maybe. But the actual problem is when you take it down. Now, this is the master cylinder here. I could have so I could take it off because I couldn't get it out. So this part is like a clamp. I also broke it to get it open. So it was worn out inside here. And it was sitting further back than it should be. So it should be sitting here and it was sitting further back. So it was making the pedal fall to the floor. So what you need to do is you need to You need to order a new one of these clips. I need to order a new one of these master cylinders. So the pedal itself, this clip fits inside there with the ball. I'll see the new ball. I, I cut this part off because I couldn't physically, I couldn't physically squeeze the parts together and pull it out. And I was only a 40 Torx and a 13 nut. This part is just a spring that just sits on there. I'll clip back straight back in. Take this out of the way. When you actually look inside here, the new one's fitted. So it has a steel ball on this new one. Hopefully it will prevent it from wearing. And you can just see the, the, the hole there for the, the, the bolt that holds the pedal in. So, if you look at the old one, you can see the keyways. You can see the keyways there. So the old one, it, key, it comes in from the outside and twists. So it twists in and locks. If you actually look, you can just about see them. You can just see the keyway there. And the hole, the notch here in the in the metal. It's extremely difficult to get in and out. So you have to come in, come in here, and there's a little, there's a little clip there. You can just pull that off, and then you're gonna fold this. Car body stuff, heat shield or whatever it is, out of the way. And then you can see the part that we want to get to. It's down here. It's not super accessible, but you can get in there and get at it. So you can see this is the top hose that feeds from the reservoir. And you, can, you just push, I can't get my finger down now, but you, you push it like this way and the two tabs, the two, this, this locking tab here and the one on, one on this side, squeeze apart. It's very difficult to see. So you can see the hole down there has to go into. You can just see it there. And the pipe at the back. The top pipe goes in on the top, so that's the block connector there, and then there's a the pressure pipe is underneath it. It's easier to see it on 
on the back side so that's this is the top pipe just pushes on you can see the barb connection there the block connector goes on there and then there's a wire it's going crazy there's a wire that fits in there you have to pull that down and push the back of it in so comes out like this and then goes back in you put it back in like that and torn it you can see the grooves there see the that's where it locks in and you torn it obviously this rubber is pulled back a bit to bleed it you need to put your hand down here Press this tab in. And you pull it back one notch. That will open the blade through there. Oh, and push it in then to close the blade. So you push this wire in and pull it back to let the fluid out into the blade reservoir. And then push it closed to stop it, to seal it off. And that is the slave cylinder down there that was replaced as well. It's only two bolts, two Allen keys actually. It's quite easy to replace. So we have a good pedal now. The only other little small piece is that where that new clip goes in, I had to get this and push it and pull it back to get it to clip into this part here because it was free and the pedal was actually the pedal was actually sitting up much higher because it was moving around the, the plastic clip part the new part was moving backwards and forwards inside the thousand so that's all cured now so basically I just grabbed it with the hook and pulled it back not an easy job it took two people Took one person pushing against the top of the pedal and me wiggling this and trying to get the, the bolt back in. You can just see the bolt there. It was very difficult because the, the spring the spring tension on it was you have to push that bypass that but with two people it's no problem. It's probably a two-man job anyway. It's a little bit tight, you had to get in from the passenger side. So just a quick look from underneath the car. So that's the Allen key and the top Allen key there. You just remove them two. And then this this part just slides off. Just comes this way. Obviously you have to press the pin down as I showed earlier to pull that pipe out. And it just goes into the clutch fork there. So the slave cylinder is pretty easy.